Hey guys, this is John from OurHomeFromScratch.com. This is the third video in our series on building a custom media cabinet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I put dados in the plywood to, to join it together. So if you've been following along so far, we built the face frame. We've cut out the plywood parts. This is the cabinet we're building. Real basic. It's white, shaker style doors. Uh, it's got a center section for a PlayStation. We're going to wrap it with some trim. It's going to be built into the wall, make it look like a nice piece of, piece of furniture. This is the box portion, and this is what we're going to be working on today. I already cut these parts out, and I need to assemble them, okay? So to assemble them, I have a couple ways that can, I can join them. I'm going to use dados. Those grooves across that plywood, those are dados, okay? So the dividers will sit in those, and the sides each have dados in it to receive the bottom board. You can see the, the dado in that, okay? So, there's a couple of ways to add dados to your piece, to plywood. One of them is through a router bit, which I'm, I'm going to basically show you both ways. One is through a router, the other was through a table saw. So this router bit is three quarters of an inch wide. Okay, that's as wide as the plywood that's going to be uh, going into these joints. I have it raised up from the base three eighths of an inch. So when I turn this router on and I run it across this piece of plywood, it's going to put a dado groove, or it's going to put a dado cut into it that's... Uh, three quarters of an inch wide and three eighths of an inch deep. I'm using a straight edge to guide the router uh, along so I, I know I have a straight even cut and I have the piece clamped down on the table. So this is the bottom board. So this piece is going to receive two dado cuts, okay, for each one for each divider. Now, if, if you don't know what the difference between a dado and a groove is, a dado goes across the board, a groove goes along the length. So these are, everything I'm, I'm doing today are actually technically dados. That's what I learned. I'm not sure that's 100% accurate, but let's go with that. So, uh, I, I love dados for assembling the box portion of the cabinet. For the face frame, I prefer pocket screws still. So what I'm going to do is pull this router across the straight edge, and when I'm done, I will test fit it with a piece of plywood that is three quarters of an inch thick, to make sure it, it's, it, it actually, I carved out enough of the piece there. So when I get to the end, I'm going to turn off the router, okay, and I'm going to let the router come to a complete stop, and then I'm going to remove it. I don't want to take it out while it's still running because I can nick the board, because these router blades are crazy sharp, okay? So there's the router, it's out of the way, you can see the, the dado I just put in there, and here's a piece of plywood, okay, fits nice and good, okay, a little loose, looks good. All right, so that's how you do with a dado with a router blade. Now let's show you how to do it on a table saw. These are the side pieces. So I have a dado blade, and this one I have stacked. It's three-eighths of an inch wide, and I have it set to, again, three-eighths of an inch high. Now, ideally, I'd be doing this on one, with one pass, and I'd have a three-quarter inch wide dado blade. My table saw does not accept anything wider than... I don't know, a quarter inch or three eighths or something like that. So I'm going to have to make two passes here. That's fine. But I have the blade set to the appropriate distance I need it from the bottom. And I'm going to run it through once. Okay, there's my dado. And I'm going to run it through. I always do these twice, just one and two, just to make sure I cleaned out that, that groove appropriately. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll grab the other piece and run that through as well. All right, so again, repeatability. We know the grooves or the dados are in the exact same spot on both side pieces. All right, and then once that's done, I'll adjust the fence and I'll move it up so I can, I can get a finished th three-quarter inch cut here. So this is, this is the second cut, so I've moved the blade. Uh, so now that I have to make two passes here because, um, again, I'm not using a three-quarter inch stack dado. I'm using a three-eighths inch blade, but I do want it th three-quarter inches wide. So this, with this pass, this groove here, this dado will open up, and you can see now it's three-quarters inch wide. So now that's, that piece is good to go. Sometimes you get a little sliver in there like I do here in that grate, so I can, I can just adjust the fence and run it through again and pull that piece out. Okay, so that's how you do dados on a table saw. This is the cabinet loosely put together. There's no screws, no glue, nothing. Just put it together to make sure so you can see what it looks like. Matches our drawing, right? I'm making sure that everything on the front edge is flushed up because that's where the face frame is going to hit. And you can see that you know there's, there's plenty of slop in there, but again, once I actually go to assemble this, this will be tight and everything will be 90 and straight and it'll be great. And that's where the back um, piece will go. That'll be pocket screwed into the back. So that's it. So that's how you make uh, dados into a cabinet using a router blade and a table saw. In our next episode, we're going to be putting this together, okay? So thanks for uh, following around. Go to ourhomefromscratch.com for more info. See you later.